we ought to say a prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth. Who ask for people that we should have done? You have to wait for the oil of heaven. All above us. Oh God, power and glory forever and ever. Amen. If we get among that lot, they'll swamp the boat. They'll capsize us. We can't just sit here and do nothing. Come on, girls. Row! I give the orders round here. Don't you know you're speaking to a lady? I know who I'm speaking to, and I'm in command of this boat. You get fresh with me, son. I'll throw you overboard. Come on, row! Now, look here. I tell you, you'll drown a lot of us. This boat's returning to pick up survivors. I'm going to pass some of our passengers over to you. We got no room in here, sir. Rubbish. You've room for about 20 more. Now hold your tongue and do as you're told. Excuse me. Mind your back. Just keep calm. Hey, madam, won't you please? I absolutely I'm refuse. I'm awfully sorry about this. I've had quite enough. Just That's as much as I could stand. Well thought. Thanks. Thank you. I still say we ought to turn back. We don't want to get swamped. You heard what he said. We ought to try, I reckon. What do you think, sir? We're crowded enough as it is. I'm feeling most unwell. It's difficult to say. Only one of us is a seaman. I think we ought to take his advice. Well, perhaps if we wait a bit, uh, until things are quietened down and then... Well, then we can try. Wait until they're half dead, you mean? That won't take long in this cold. big steamer that was out there, sir. The one that was firing rockets. What about it? Well, she seems to have gone now, sir. Seems to have gone now. And she didn't fire any more rockets. No, sir. Very well. What's the time? 2.45, sir. Well, enter it in the log. Aye, aye, sir. Yeah. 
Watch your cap size, I tell you! <laughs> All right, take it easy. Get off, then! Get off! Get away! Good luck. God bless you. Come back! No, come on back! It soon will be if we don't get organized. It's every man for himself. Shut up and do what the officer says. Here, here. Is that you, Sparks? Yes, sir. Good. How long before the Carpathia gets here? An hour or so, sir. Right. There's a bit of a swell getting up. We'll have to trim the boat. Now listen to me, all of you. No. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. Yes. Come on, lads. You're all right now. Oh. Give me a hand, Sparks. Oh, oh, sir. Take care of the child. Oh. Here. There's one back here dead, sir. Are you certain? We are, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Lower him over the side. Dean left. Dean left. Gently. Gently. All right for the baker to come aboard now, sir? Yes. Pull him in. Dean right. Oh. Dean right. Thank you, sir. <coughs> I beg your pardon, sir. It's the cold. Look, sir. Go uh, ahead, sir. All right, steady, lad, steady. <whistles> to your right. To your right. To your right. It's an officer's whistle. Make way together, lads. Starboard helm. Uh, to your right, please, madam. My baby. My baby. That man over there, he's smoking a cigarette. I think it's disgraceful that anyone should smoke at a time like this. People really ought to control themselves. I want my husband. I'm so cold. Please, I'm so cold. I'm so cold. Oh. She'll be there by now, sir. Yeah. Not a sign of her. Must have given the wrong position. I spoke on the port bow, sir. Starboard a point. Starboard one point, sir. Slow ahead. Slow ahead, sir. Starboard one point. There's a flare ahead, sir. Fire a rocket. Okay. I tell you, we're done. Oh, shut up. No water, no food. Got no compass, no chart. That's the North Star up there, isn't it? What's the use of that? We're hundreds of miles from land. What was that? All in star, flash your lightning. Lightning my foot? That was a rocket. Look! It's a rocket. It's a rocket. Pat, will you look? There's a ship sending up sit a down. rocket. Please, ladies, sit down. You may lose your balance. Look, we'll give them an answer. There. Look. There. They'll see this. Bio? 
There's a ship coming. She's firing rockets. Ah, come on, now brace up. It'll not be much longer. Oh, look at them rockets. Look at them lovely rockets. Will that be the Carpathia? Aren't you glad to see her? Yes, I'm glad. But then I'm still alive. If only she'd been nearer. There are quite a lot of ifs about it, aren't there, Colonel? Keep up, Quartermaster! Keep that line slack! If we'd been steaming a few knots slower, or if we'd sighted that berg a few seconds earlier, we might not even have struck. If we'd carried enough lifeboats for the size of the ship instead of just enough to meet the regulations, things would have been different again, wouldn't they? Maybe. But you have nothing to reproach yourself with. You've done all any man could and more. You're not. I was going to say, you're not God, Mr. Lightoller. No seaman ever thinks he is. I've been in sea since I was a boy. I've been in sail. I've even been shipwrecked before. I know what the sea can do. But this is different. Because we hit an iceberg? No. Because we were so sure. Because even though it's happened, it's still unbelievable. I don't think I'll ever feel sure again. About anything. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men, particularly to those who desire now to offer up their praises and thanksgivings for thy late services vouchsafed unto them. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Amen. Sir? We're at the place now. I thought you'd like to see for yourself. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. We only found one body, I'm afraid. The rest must have been carried further on by the current. But of course, we'll go on searching for survivors until we turn back to New York. Yes, sir. How many? Well, the purser's checked the figures now. We have on board 705 survivors. Several of those in the boats were dead, I'm afraid. 1,500 lost? That's right, yes. Excuse me, sir. Oh, Cotton, yes, what is it? A message from the Californian, sir. She's nearby. Just heard about the Titanic. Wants to know if there's anything she can do. Tell them no, nothing. Everything that was humanly possible has been done. <laughs> 